Hey folks, welcome to IGA Tech Dive. I'm Jim Montgomery, the Governance Practice Lead with Trivere, an open text partner specializing in advisory and implementation services in the identity and access manager realm. Today in the world of identity governance and administration, we will talk about role mining. This is how you leverage the technology to help the, with the difficult task of identifying what roles you should use in your organization. Let's get started and look at, at the business goal. As a system administrator, or someone that manages access for an enterprise, you want to use roles to assign rights in your organization because it saves time. You can assign a role once for a job function to a user rather than having to explicitly grant all the permissions that are necessary for them to do their job. Similarly, during a review, it's a lot faster to make a decision on one role item rather than all the components of a role. And you can choose to review only the exceptional access that isn't part of a role. This all saves time and leads to a more secure network with less risk. But how do you figure out the right roles for your organization? This is where role mining comes in. We would use role mining so that you can identify candidate roles that might fit your job functions entirely based on access that IG has already collected in your environment. After you have collectors already stood up during your deployment, IG uses machine learning algorithms to show you which set of similar users have which set of permissions, all based on current access in your organization. This gives you insight into something that is very difficult to see without a tool. Managing roles used to grant access in your organization is a crucial aspect of governance. Let's look at how you would implement this. If I'm working with an app owner that doesn't already have an idea of their roles, I usually employ two main strategies, top down and bottom up. The goal with both of these strategies is the same. Identify a grouping of users based on attributes like department, title, location, manager, and a group of permissions they should receive in order to complete a job function. Starting with top down, you interview the app owner and the management team, you know, the people getting the work done with the app to understand what their job functions are and in general what access is required to do them. This is a discussion about how rights are granted to groups of people. Your goal is to end up with some descriptions of job functions, some permissions that they're tied to, and generally who receives those permissions. Looking at bottom up, we use the access we've already collected in IG to tell us which groups of users have sets of access. You'll likely see access that the app owners didn't mention or that they might not even know about. You'll see groupings of users based on attributes like title or location. And IG doesn't know why they have access, just that a set of users has a similar set of permissions. Once you've used these two strategies, you can put the two results together and build roles that describe a job function based on what's actually needed and approved by the system. Let's look at an example of how you might use this. In the interface, mining lives in the technical role and business role pages. I'm going to show you the business role mining. Technical role mining lives here, but business role mining is under policy right here in this mining tab. If I choose directed role mining, then click Generate New Suggestions. It's going to give me a dialog. It's going to ask me which attributes I want to use to group users. In fact, I can use this dialog box to show me how powerful or how useful individual attributes are, how selective they are. So I'm going to use Title, because that's the longest bar here. Now I'd like to see groupings that have at least four users in them. And I want to see groupings or potential role candidates that have at least half the people in the role have been granted the permissions that are covered. 50% of the people have the technical roles that might be included. And same with applications. This will be a sample run. So I'm going to hit start. It's going to go do some processing. Once it's done, you can see my saved previous directed suggestion runs. I'm going to choose to load this so you can come back to these results later. Every run of this tool will generate more and more suggestions and you can tweak the settings to get different suggestions. Since we chose title in this directed mining, it's including that here and it's showing that there's a set of 
12 users that have no title but all, have all been granted the same application. Maybe that's a role. Or maybe this particular title, Chief Product Development Figurehead, there's five users there who have the same two permissions in one application assignment. Maybe that's a role. These are all candidates. Let's look at automated role mining. It's the other choice here. With automated role mining, it works similar. We're going to enter in a fake description to get this working and saving. I would like to look at um, some automated role mining where we have a minimum of, of 50 users inside my group. And I want any correlated permissions to be held by 75% of the members in this group. And technical roles and applications can only be held by 50% or at least 50%. I'm going to start this. That's going to do this processing. And then it's done. I'm going to load up the results to view them. So I can see there are several comp combinations here that grant an application. Um, but I can also see there's a department that correlates uh, this employee type of employee grants. There's two specific attributes there, and it grants one application. There is a department called product development that grants two permissions and a particular application. Maybe this is a role suggestion or a candidate. When you find a good suggestion or something that you think makes sense, you're going to check this box and you're going to choose to create a candidate. And then it gives you a dialog box on what exactly you're going to do. This is going to let you fine tune what that candidate looks like. I like to create a single business role candidate. We'd give it an appropriate name. Maybe this is product development. And then this is an example from my environment, from the collection of permissions I've already uh, pulled into IG. This is going to give me an example of things that it'll grant. You can also choose to create an underlying technical role that'll uh, encapsulate those permissions. So to wrap up, we looked at role mining from a top-down and bottom-up approach so that you can build a set of roles to grant and review access. And that's all for now. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, you can post them to the Open Text Community Forum or reach out to me at jmontgomery at Thanks.